Hello, I am Nick Pierce and I'm a technical support specialist for the Emerson Vortex Flow Meter. Today we are going to demonstrate how to test the piezo sensor, insulation resistance, and also how to perform an online sensor replacement. Before replacing a piezo sensor, please reference our manual or video on how to verify your sensor is working properly. Typically, replacing the piezo sensor is the last step in the meter troubleshooting process. On 8800 Vortex meters with the CPA option, it will have a vent valve welded on the side of the meter body, as seen here. It is recommended to open the vent valve prior to sensor replacement. Caution should be used. Please refer to the safety note for further details. Using an open end 7 16 or 11 millimeter wrench, slowly loosen the vent valve by turning it counterclockwise. In the rare event of process fluid in the sensor cavity, immediately re-tighten the valve nut until the process fluid stops venting. If there is process fluid venting or leaking from the vent tube, that would indicate there is process fluid in the sensor cavity. This would require a full meter replacement. Before removing the transmitter housing from the support bracket, turn off the power to the transmitter. Use a 532nd or 4 mm hex head wrench to loosen the transmitter housing set screws by turning the screws clockwise until they clear the support bracket. Slowly lift the transmitter housing no more than 1.5 inches from the top of the support bracket. Next, loosen the piezo sensor cable nut from the transmitter sensor header using a 5 16 or 8 mm wrench. Next, loosen and remove the sensor nut from the sensor cavity. You will use a 1 and 1 8 or 29 millimeter wrench or socket. Gently slide the sensor lead away from the nut and then remove the nut. Next, we will lift the piezo sensor straight up from the sensor cavity. We will try to avoid rocking or tilting it when removing. The next step is to install the new piezo sensor. Carefully place the sensor over the post in the sensor cavity. Ensure the sensor is centered on the post. The figure on screen shows an example of proper installation. The sensor should remain as close to the vertical as possible when applying force to seat it. Manually push down on the sensor by applying equal pressure for engagement onto the post. Screw the sensor nut back into the sensor cavity. Tighten the nut to full engagement. The factory spec is 32 foot-pounds of torque. Replace the transmitter support bracket and tighten the four bolts that anchor the support bracket in place. Use a 7 16 or 11 millimeter wrench to tighten it. Now we are going to reconnect the piezo sensor connector to the transmitter. We'll start off by hand threading it on as far as it'll go. And we'll snug it and then we'll take a 5 16 or 8 millimeter wrench and just gently tighten it. We don't want to over tighten this connection. Then we'll set it down into the support tube. The last step is to secure the transmitter and the transmitter support bracket with the three hex head inserts. Since they are reverse threaded, we will counterclockwise to tighten the inserts. This completes the 8800 Vortex sensor replacement process.